I will now move on to uh, Dr. Ng Giapeng. We call him Edmund, and he is the coordinator for the MOOC and the OER. So he'll be presenting briefly on the co content creation. Okay, so if Dr. Edmund is around, can you please? Yeah, I'm around. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Dr. Edmund. I will turn off my microphone so you can take over. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon to everyone and all the colleagues in UMS. So this session, I'm going to talk about the content creation for our discerning as well as the MOOC here. So what we need to do is for the content creation, we need to have uh, these few things here before we start our class or any subject. So first thing is we need to know our platform and material. And the second thing is the, we need to know our curriculum. Then next one is the educational material. And next one would be the who will be our support. And also as well as the last one would be the implementation. So our output would be the either into the MOOCKIT UMS, Smart Tools, and or Smart Tree here. So for the platform itself, the platform that we are using currently in UMS will be the uh, Smart Tools, Smart Tree, as well as the MOOC here. So this three platforms, we, we need to think of the accessibility of the platform that we are using. Either it also can be used for the use uh, disabilities as well. So the platform that we are using also, we need to consider, is it the platform would be the into the mobile friendly? So the next one would be the course curriculum that we are going to talk of. So what I mean here is when you are creating your subject or you are designing your subject as well as a developing your subject, these are the few things, the basic things that you have to consider, which are the structure of the course itself. The structure of the course itself, you need to think of how many sections that you need to divide into, the name of the section or for each section. For example, in Smart 3 UMS or Smart 2 UMS, we do have the either 7 to 14 weeks section here. From each section, you need to separate it into uh, one by one. So as well as uh, the all the sections need to be clearly defined, all the objectives as well as the contents that you are going to deliver. So the section itself, you need to state clearly the duration, whereby this duration could be either six or to 14 weeks of the, the entire subject itself. So another one is the enrollment of the dates, whether it is uh, from which date to start of the course or, or the, the subject that you are going to handle. This one is can be either is in the MOOC or OER or either is in the Smart Tree UMS here. So engagement time is you need to think of how many hours that you need the students or the learners to be in your section itself. Either is three to four hours or up to the 10 hours per week. So during this kind of thing here as well, you need to think of whether the, the subject that you are offering, if this, or this subject is offering into the MOOC itself, you need to think of whether it's certification wise, whether the student is allowed to get the certification of attendance or the certification of professional uh, professional certification. So this is the thing that you need to think of whether it's only for attendance or for professional certification. As well as another one is the communication. So means that you need to know the, the student need to have the so-called communication device or whatever to let the people to get involved into the discussion. Another one is the assess assessment, whether the subject that you are offering, how it going to conduct the assessment, either in the multiple choice, open responder, or giving a task or assignments or lab exercise or whatever, you need to think of this one as well. Then all the contents in the subject that you are offering need to be able to be downloadable as well. So last one will be accessibility here, all right? So what I'm trying to discuss is here is the when you are when you are trying to design your content, you need to think of the, this kind of thing here, whereby how you need to have a template to, to think of how it will look like like this, and summarize all those things, and as well as the all the objectives, and also the the transfer and and the, the thing that you are going to offer in the subject matter here. You see, here stated clearly how many hours that you are going to do for all those things here. Huh? 
The next one will be the educational materials here. There are many types of the educational materials that you can have, not only this in, in, on, on this slide. This slide is only basic materials that you can have or you can put it into your uh, platform. Firstly, is the videos. How you are going to design the videos is depending on the, the criteria that we are going to set from the PEP later on. So also, the material can be the PowerPoint slide, like the presentation, or in a zip file, or in the Python, or in the whatever place. So also can be in the hypertext, and also can be in the audio wiki, or you can put the, the your in, uh, you can put the material as a document file, as well as you can put your material as a project file, or your material can be into the quizzes as well. These are just a basic. Uh, these are just a basic educational materials that you can put it into your subject platform yeah not necessarily to follow uh, this one but you can have the values of the material that you can have it for example in in here i stated clearly you look at here i stated clear for my subject here you can see that i already have here to have the uh to have the to have the activities as well as what are the materials that going to put into the contents that we are going to deliver to the student as well as in the each week itself this week itself you can see from this week itself week two i also stated clearly the the the, the synopsis of the the subject for this week as well as what are the activities as well as the material that are available in this week so also clearly stated what are the subject they're going to teach and as well as what are the uh, exercise or assessments that we are going to deliver during the section of that week, particular week itself. So from the learner support itself, we need to consider the support that we have in UMS. For example, the academic staff, who is going to teach for the that subject matter. Another one is we need to have a sub, uh, technical staff that to help us, like the PEP, going to help us to deliver, for example, to record the video or to edit the video to make it standardized for all the UMS staff. And another one is to determine the contents, discussion forum, then popular uh, social network that you can use as a support for, for your teaching and learning, as well as the intera uh, interaction in between the lecturer and the student. So how the learner creation and activity, and lastly, you can use email as a support to deliver your content here. And this is the last slide whereby how you are going to implement the whole uh, content itself. Firstly, you need to have a course info page, whereby you need to have a description, brief description of your course itself. Then you need to have all those uh, clearly stated uh, on the first page of your course like this. For example, you need to have the clearly stated all your, your subject. For example, this is a subject, all these things you need to be clearly stated. Then also the objective, then the, the uh, uh, learning outcomes, as well as the learning objective, then what will be the platform that you are going to use, the transfer skill that you are going to have, and la and also how many hours activities that you are going to have it like this. So these are the things that you need to have in the course info page here. So the another one is a courseware page whereby what are the contents available that I discussed just now, the videos, PowerPoint slide, the zip file, documents or whatever to put it into the courseware page. And also you need to have a discussion page you need to have a progress page. Lastly, you need to have a syllabus page. The syllabus page means that every single week, you need to have the, the details like this. For example, this is a week two outcomes. These are the details of the week two. These are the week details of the week three. These are the details of the week four, and so on and so forth. So these are the things that you need to do during your creation of your content. So that's all from me. Uh, Dr. Kenneth, is, if you do have any question, you can anytime to contact myself and also PP any one of them. We are willing and we are happy to serve the UMS community. Thank you very much.